students today we are going to learn about doing the factorization using identities so using identities we are going to do it so let me recall the identities a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so using these three identities today we are going to learn how to do the factorization so let me go for the problem factorize the following expression so this is uh, it's look like the form of an a square 8 a plus 16 it's look like the form of a square plus 2 a b plus b square so our only thing we have to find what is the a and what is the b then we can write in this form so it is a factor right a plus b the whole square means a plus b into a plus b multiplication so it will be in that form so we have to find what is that okay that's also easy just by factorization we can find each term factor is a square okay let me write a square term as a square the first and last we need a square right in between only we need a factor so first and last let it be the square in between alone just find the factor so 8 we can write as a 2 into 2 into 2 into a plus 16 just write in the square 16 is a 4 square 4 4 are 16 right i hope now we got in a 2 a b form so a square plus 2 into a is what here and 2 into 2 you can write as a 4 which is a p and here a which is represent a plus 4 square now we got in the a square plus 2 a b b is a 4 so same 4 square we got here so instead of a the same a is here plus instead of b we have a 4 a plus 4 the whole square clear just only thing we have to factorize and find which term is the a and which term is the b so we'll go for another one one more problem and here the already first term is a p square no problem the 10 we have to write as a 2 into 5 into p and 25 we can write as a 5 square so a is the p square and b is the 5 square let me check whether it forms in 2 a b yes p square minus 2 into and it's a minus so it is a a minus b the whole square form uh, 2 into a is what p p into b is a 5 same 5 square so a square minus 2 a b plus b square so it is in the a minus b the whole square right a minus b the whole square instead of a there is a p so p minus instead of b there is a 5 5 the whole square clear so here we go for the next problem 121 b square minus 88 bc plus 16 c square so in the beginning 121 is not squared we can make a squared number 121 is actually square number right it's 11 square 11 into 11 is a 121 so we can write as 11 square b square minus we got it 11 so 11 into this can be written as a 2 into 4 right because 16 will get a 4 so into b into c plus 16 we can write as a 4 square c square the first and the last term should be the whole square right so let me write as 11 b the whole square minus here we need in 2 a b form 2 into a is 11 and b right into 11 b so i written 2 here and 11 and b here the rest is 4 c that is also multiplied 4 c you can see the b is in the 4 c form 4 c the whole square so 11 b 11 is a a and 4 c is the b and it is in the minus so a square minus 2 a b plus b square form that is equal to a minus b the whole square so a is, a is the 11 b minus b is the 4 c the whole square clear so next we go for the next identities it is a a square minus b square form it's, it's totally easy so just it is given only the two terms we have to make the full the whole square that's it so 4 we can write as a 2 square p already squared minus 9 we can write as a 3 square q already squared just write as a common 2p the whole square minus 3q the whole square so it is in the form of a square minus b square so which we can write as a a plus b into a minus b which is the factors form factorized form right so a is the 2p and b is the 3q so that's it 2p first plus then it's a minus 2p plus 3q into 2p minus 3q clear the same 
so only thing we have to find it properly here we go for the next 16 x power 5 minus 1 44 x cube which is this is not satisfies any of the identities then how to do the normal i will find the common factors and we will be taking out right so this kind of things also we always we cannot expect that we can uh, uh, apply the identity some case if identity is not applied we will use the formal method so 16 we can write in the four square and 16 multiples is uh, 144 uh, 16 9 are 144 so let it be 16 as it is and x we can write as a x into x into x into x into x 5x are the right minus 144 i already said 16 table we will get 16 into 9 uh, x cube is there x into x into x so what is the common here 16 and 1 2 3 3 x are common so that 3x means x cube right so which is equal to 16 x cube we have taken as a common and then inside we have a 2 x x into x is an x square minus here we have a 9 right this is in the factorist form even we can factorize this here you can see x square minus 9 it is in a, a square minus b square form right the 9 we can write as a 3 square so 16 x cube x square minus 3 square so it is alone in the a square minus b square even this we can write as a a plus b into a minus b right this is in the form of a square minus b square this you can write as so 16 x cube into x plus 3 into x minus 3 so now totally it's factorized even this is also factorized even though we can factorize this inside the square is that even that we can factorize and write it so here we go for the next l plus m the whole square minus l minus m the whole square this is, is also in the form of a square minus b square right this is like an a square and this is like an a b square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so directly we can write it so which we will be getting it as an a is an a l plus m plus b is an a l minus m into here we will be getting it as an a l plus m it's a minus so minus l minus m right so l plus m minus m is 0 l plus l is a 2l and here the minus you have to multiply here so l plus m minus l plus m right so l minus l will become 0 m plus m will become 2m so 2l into m plus m is a 2m so we can multiply and write 2 2s are 4 4 l m clear so only thing a we consider as a two terms it can it is a is like in a binomial so okay we can just simply uh, apply and simplify it is able to simplify and so it cancelled everything that means we got a zero and finally we got as a one factor is 4l yeah so next factor is this a x square plus bx this also didn't admit any uh, identities then what we will do we will do the common factor method that's it here this is common a, a x square we can write as a into x into x and this is a b into x so which is common x is the common so common we can apply distributive property the balance is the a x and here the plus and this this rest is the b clear if it satisfies identities that we have to identify like whether it have a squares like that because you can see here all the identities have a square and this side is all everything is like a factorized and here we go for the next a power 4 minus b power 4 it doesn't have a square but we can make a square because 4 we can write of power of 2 power 2 right 2 power 2 is a 4 so a square the whole square we can write 2 into 2 is a 4 right minus b square the whole square now this entire we can choose as an a and this entire we can choose as a b which is an a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into b a minus b so a is an a square plus b is a b square into same a square minus b square clear and again you can see this is in the form again a square minus b square directly we can apply the formula 
so here it's already a square plus b square into this we will apply as a a plus b into a minus b so this is the factorized one clear thank you students today we are going to find the factorization using the identities x plus a into x plus b so we know that the x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus bx plus ab so factor is in this form that means mm, kindly note it note it down it is in the a plus b and it is in the a into b so we have to find the two numbers if we add we will be getting the same this answer and if we multiply we have to get as a a into b then we can use this uh, directly we can apply this as the factors so it is given that p square plus 6p plus 8 so it is in the form of a into b that is multiples so 6 uh, p let it be as an ax it is should be in the form of a plus b that is if we multiple we have to get as an a8 if you add we have to get as a 6 so we have to think we have to substitute in each value for an ab and ab have to find so it is easy to find for in multiples first so a into e what are the factors of 8 2 into 4 4 into 8 1 into 8 8 into 1 so 2 into 4 are 8 into 1 So if we add an eight and one, will we get a six? No. So if we multiple, will we get an uh, uh, sorry? If we add, uh, multiple, we'll get an eight. And if we add, will we get a six? Yes. Four plus two is eight. So two into four is eight. Two plus four is six. Then we can apply directly that, right? So p square plus add is a two plus four into p instead of x. That is the p plus and multiple is two into So, which is this is the x and two. This is the a and four is the p. Directly we can write x into a plus x into b. In the x if there is a p, and instead of a we have chosen as an a two. Sorry, plus. I will write in the next step. So p plus two and next is a x plus b. X is the same p plus b is the what we found it as a. clear so only thing this process is very very important we'll do one more sum for more clarifications so it is also like that so multiple should be the 21 and addition should be the 10 and particularly we can focus on the minus term right so multiple should be the 21 so which is the 21 multiplication two table no three table Three into seven. Any other things? No, we don't get right. And if we add, we have to get as a minus ten. So three plus seven is equal to plus ten. It is not a minus ten, right? Mm, we can apply a negative for both. I think then we will get a minus ten. So right, minus three minus seven. Yeah, it is a minus ten. So when we, when we apply the minus three and minus seven, will we get a plus twenty one? Yes, minus three into minus seven, we will get a plus twenty one. So let me choose this as the a and this as the b. Just make sure whether it applies both, including the sign. Right. So it is a q square plus minus ten. We are done as a minus three minus seven minus three minus seven q plus twenty one. We can write as the minus three into minus seven. So this is the x, and this is the a, and this is the b. Then we know that it is to be the form of x plus a into x plus b, right? So x is the q here, q plus a is the minus three, right? So minus three into again x is the q here plus b is the minus seven. Just remove this multiple plus into minus. We will get as a q minus three into Q minus seven, so that's our answer. Clear? For so the next question, p square plus six p minus sixteen. So if you multiply, we have to get it as a negative sixteen, and if we add, we have to get as a six. So sixteen. So sixteen. Let's find the factors of sixteen. It's two uh, into eight, four into four. Anything else? No. One into sixteen. Sixteen to one. So one is not going to work. Either we add or subtract with the one, we are not going to six. So don't worry about it. So let me try with two into eight. We need a negative. So let me try with a minus two into eight. Sure, it is a minus sixteen. While we are adding, 
minus 2 and 8 yes yes so minus 2 plus 8 also we got as a 6 so this works right like a trial and error you can uh, substitute one by one only we can find so first attempt i got it so a will become a minus 2 and b will become a 8 clear plus 8 so p square plus 6 p minus 16 we can write as a p square plus here a plus b a is the minus 2 plus 8 sure it is a 6 right p minus 16 we can write as a minus 16 so uh, plus 2 minus 2 into 8 so p plus a so the 2 is the let it be the a and b right a b a plus b a into b so a is the minus 2 directly i'll write as a minus 2 p minus 2 and here the b is uh, plus 8 so p plus 8 so we got p minus 2 into p plus 8 clear thank you